Do you need e-signatures for your real estate documents? Let me show you how with JotForm Sign. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. The first thing I wanna do is go up to the top left-hand corner and we can either choose the drop down where it says my forms and head to my signed documents or we can start with the create form button and then all the way on the right hand side we have create a signable document now if you already have a pdf of these real estate documents you can always utilize the upload document option for this i'm going to go ahead and head to our templates now if there's something specific in the real estate world that you're looking for you can always use the search option i'm going to jump to the left hand side of the screen and i'm going to look in the industries tab and we have real estate right there and let's go ahead and take a quick scroll, see if anything jumps out to us. I think I'll go ahead and use this sale by owner template. Now, before I do anything, I always like to take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. When it comes to these documents or these signable documents, we can see that both or everything on this page is orange. That means that one person needs to sign that. It's going to be differentiated by color. So we see this is all orange, orange, we get down to the bottom and then we have a purple. So we have the purchaser is going to be in purple and the seller is in orange. So with that knowledge, let's go back up to the top and we can see right here, the purchaser is in orange. We need to change that over to purple. So it really is simple. All you need to do is choose the fields that you need to change. And then we have the drop down, and we just change it to purchaser, super simple. Now, another way that we can do this is any field that you choose, you can also choose the gear, which is gonna open the properties on the right-hand side, and we can change it over here as well. Super simple. So let's go ahead and keep changing these over to the purchaser. Perfect. Now, over on the right-hand side, we can also edit the field label. We can make it required or unrequired, and we can also change the sub labels as well. Now, if there is something missing from this document that you need someone to fill out or sign, it is very similar to our JotForm form builder. So over on the left-hand side, we can choose to add fields, and then we can just drag and drop wherever we would like. So let's just say I need a signature right here. And then of course we can change this, make this fit however we need. But for this example, I am not going to utilize this. So let's go ahead, top right corner, let's go ahead and preview what this document's going to look like. As of right now, this is going to look exactly as it looked in the build mode. We can see we have 19 fields to fill out, but if we want to see what this looks like just to our purchaser, in the top left-hand corner, we can change this to a specific party. And you can see now the purchaser has five fields to fill out. So this is good. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the preview and let's jump to our tabs. The middle tab is going to be settings. Now, if we need to change the name of our document, we can do that here. Next up is going to be our email settings. If you want to edit or change the subject, you can do that here. If you would like a specific message to go to everyone who is receiving this document, I'm gonna go ahead and add it in here. Just please sign ASAP. And then if you have other integrations that you would like to integrate, you can always utilize this here. But let's head over to the Sin tab because this is where the magic happens. So we can already see me, the person who is selling, but we need the purchaser's information here. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter them in. Now you can see to the right of every single person, you're going to have a key icon and a message icon. Now, if you would like for specific people to have to enter in a password or a passcode, that's where the key comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and make this passcode one, two, three, and then we have a message icon. Now, if you would like to have a specific message to specific people, this is where that comes in over in the settings tab where we just were under email settings, that's going to everybody. But I want to make sure that my purchaser knows that her passcode is one, two, three. Perfect. Now we can also see that the people who have a passcode and a specific message are highlighted in blue. Now let's head up to options. You can have an expiration date for this. You can have automated reminder emails. You can set up a signer delegation. For me, I want the person that I'm sending it to to be the person who signs. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off signer delegation. And then if you need to CC anyone, you can do that here. But now if we jump back over to recipients, if I hit send to sign right now, this document is going to go to everyone involved at the same time. And that is not what I want to happen. I want to pre-fill out 
my side first as the seller. And then once I'm done, the buyer can fill out their piece. To do that, we need to turn on signing order right here. And we get to see these dots appear over on the left-hand side. Now, if I was down here, the purchaser was going to get it first. I want to make sure that I get it first. I'm gonna put me at the top and we can see the signing order one, two right here. And I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and send to sign. All right, we can see exactly who it went to and then also who has a passcode. Now, before we jump over to the emails to fill this out, I definitely want to show you the inbox. So in the top left-hand corner, the sign builder, we're gonna jump to the inbox. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice is all the tabs across the top. As of right now, this document lives in all documents. Any documents that are tied to you will live in this section. Now, next up, we have waiting for my signature because this document that we just created is waiting for my signature. Now, once we sign, it's going to leave this tab. It's gonna to go to waiting for others. Once they sign it, it'll be incompleted. And then of course, we also have canceled and declined as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on this tab just to show you that it's going to automatically disappear for us, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and jump to the seller's email and fill out our document. All right, we have that general message, please sign ASAP. So let's go ahead and review and sign document. And you probably saw it did say 14 fields to fill out, but it dropped down to 12 because it automatically populated or pre-filled two fields for us. So because these aren't required, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump down to the bottom for the signature. Now, with the signature, it is really neat. We have a couple of options. So it's gonna automatically populate on type. So if you want, you can just leave it like this. You can also change this to kind of fit your font style. You can also change the colors. But if you want, you can choose the draw option and draw your signature. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this so it pops up here. We are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead, sign and complete, and accept and send. All right, so let's jump over to the buyer's email. And we can see that general please sign ASAP message, but we also have that private message just to me, the buyer, letting me know my passcode is 123. So let's go ahead and review and sign document, and we'll enter in our passcode and validate. And we dropped from five fields down to three because again, it pre-populated that for me. So I'm gonna head down to the bottom and then I'm just gonna leave this like this. Perfect, I'm gonna X out to have it drop in. Let's sign and complete and accept and send. All right, we are good to go. Let's head over to my inbox and we can see that it's no longer in waiting for my signature. It's also no longer in waiting for others. It is now officially in completed. Now, one thing with this is if we scroll down, if we go past our signatures, we can see that there is now additional pages. We have an audit trail. So if we need to know where this went and when and how long it took in between each steps, we have visibility to that. Now, if you need to download or print this, all we need to do is just click right here. But another really awesome thing is all of this data also lives in our tables. So I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner, click on inbox, head over to my tables. And if we scroll all the way to the right, we see both of our signatures here in tables. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm Sign for your real estate documents, let us know, and I'll see you next time.